WHS. I'm Victor. And I'm Austin. Here for your morning announcements. Now for a moment of silence. Please stand for the pledge. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. There will be a Black History Assembly today at 8 a.m. The WH Band is having our fourth annual mattress fundraiser sale, Sunday, February 26th, from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. The sale will be here at the Commons. This is an important fundraiser for our band, and we need everyone's help and support. Sophomores, juniors, and seniors, sign up for the ASVAB test on the JRTC room door room E9. It is completely free. You must sign up no later than March 10th, and the test will be administrated March 16th from 8 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. There will be a mandatory Miss Warrior meeting Thursday, March 2nd during Indian period in the library for all contestants. Pageant will be March 3rd, 7 p.m. in the Commons. Junior and Senior Prom will be Saturday, March 9th, 18th at the Wetumpka Civic Center. Major Red Trials will be March 13th through 17th, and Color Guard Trials will be April 3rd through 6th. Bridge Builder Packets are due March 31st. Thanks, thanks for joining us next in sports. Good morning, WHS. Welcome to Sports Talk. I'm Mason. And I'm Lauren. This is your Athlete of the Week, Max D. Good morning, Wichita High School. I'm here with your Athlete of the Week, Max. So, Max, what sport do you play? Oh, uh, I play soccer. Um, so, how's your senior year been going? It's going pretty good. Grades are doing good. I'm in a lot of extracurricular activities, so it's going pretty good. So, what uh, college do you plan on attending? Uh, I'm going to Faulkner University to play soccer and uh, study in sports management. Any valuable life lessons you've learned from playing soccer? Um, over the years, I've learned uh, leadership skills, how to work well with others, and just pretty much learn lessons. Well, that was our Athlete of the Week, Max. Thank you for that. Thank you for everyone who came out to support the soccer team at their tournament Friday. And thanks to everyone who came out to support the varsity basketball team at the Academy. Please congratulate Taylor for accepting Marion Military Institute's offer of a scholarship. Taylor is one of our many talented players who plays outfield. She has decided to pursue a career in the Air Force and MMI has a two-year program that will enable Taylor to become an officer. Taylor is the third softball player this year to receive an offer and her signing date is to be announced. Thank you and go Indians. That's all for Sports Talk. I'm Macy. And I'm Lauren. Hey WHS, I'm Andre. And I'm Noah. Two students, Micah and Isaac, have won the Farm City Contest. Our Teacher of the Week is Miss Fox. We're here with our Teacher of the Week, Miss Fox. So Miss Fox, how long have you been teaching? I've been teaching for five years. What subject do you teach? I teach math, pre-calculus and calculus. What do you like to do? Um, outside of school, I like to cook and spend time with my family. Did you always want to be a teacher? No, I actually used to be an engineer. Um, I did that for a couple years and then decided to go back to grad school and get my master's in teaching so I could do that. What is your favorite part of teaching? I love to see former students come back and visit. That's always nice. What do you like about WHS? The students and the staff. Any advice for your students? Don't be afraid to ask questions. Um, whether it's schoolwork related or something personal, there's lots of people that care about you and want to help. Uh, thank you. That was our Teacher of the Week, Ms. Fox. Our Senior of the Week is Zach. Here's our interview with him. I'm standing here with our Senior of the Week, Zach Watson. So Zach, what is different from your senior year of high school than your other years? Senior year is one of those years, it's a lot less stressful than the other years of your high school experience, but at the same time it's a lot more stressful simply due to the fact that like, this is the end of one chapter of your life and the beginning of another. So during your senior year you're looking at your college choice, your scholarships that you need to go to college and pay for it, look at what you want to do for the rest of your life, and so while it's a lot more lax than most years, it's also a lot more stressful because you're entering the next stage of your life after this year. What college do you plan on attending and what major do you plan on pursuing? I'm going to be attending UAB, which is in Birmingham. I'm going to be majoring in microbiology and I'm going to have a minor in creative writing. And I'm going to stay at UAB. Long term, I'm going to be going to med school at UAB. And after I get my medical degree, I want to be an anesthesiologist and eventually 
a lot farther in the future. I want to do, can pursue a Doctors Without Borders degree, where that means I'll just travel the world and I will help people in third world countries who cannot afford proper medical attention. So, If you could sum up high school in three words, what would those three words be? I would definitely say pivotal because once you reach high school, everything is different than, than you've ever learned as far as school goes. Um, you're not walking in lines, you know. You have a little bit more freedom, not a lot, but you have a little bit more freedom. Um, insightful because they do expect you to act in a certain way. They expect you to act like adults at this stage in your life. And so you really get to kind of see how you need to act before you get out in the real world into whatever job that you plan on pursuing in the future. Well, that is our Senior of the Week, Zach Watson. Thank you. That's all for Inspiring Indians. Tune in next week. Yo, yo, what's up, guys? We're back at it with fashion. I'm Shay. I'm Andrea. And I'm Riley. This week's fashion for my girls is oversized sweaters. Ooh, those are really good with jeans and duck boots. Yeah, they do. And also for the guys, a long sleeve southern marsh with some straight jeans and cold horns. Well, that's all we got for you guys. Catch us next week with fashion. Throwback Thursday to Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. Hey, guys, welcome to WHS Entertainment. I'm Jay. I'm Lauren. And, okay. Um, people, we are 0% funny, and I don't know what to say. Like, what do you mean? Throw back to Valentine's Day. Okay. So, you know, I feel sad for all these single people who have to walk into these stores on Valentine's Day. Why? Like, you're not going to be lonely. Because they have to walk into Walmart and all these other stores and look at all this chocolate. I know, but look, all you have to do is just go to Walmart and like get all the candy you want and you can go home and watch Netflix and you'll all be okay because I did that. That's so crazy. Uh oh. Oh whatever. my gosh. Lauren, you want to go to prom? Yeah! Oh my gosh! Yes! <laughs> That's all for entertainment.